Hello friends and welcome to A Shot of Code. Today we're going to be looking at decorators in Polymer 3. Now decorators allow us to remove some of the boilerplate code associated with creating a web component. We can use things like at property, at custom elements, at listen. Um, these haven't landed in browsers yet so we'll need to transpile with TypeScript or Babel. Um, but let's jump in and we'll show a few examples. Okay, I've got Visual Studio Code open here. I'm gonna create a very basic uh, Polymer 3 element. So let's start getting Polymer in. And we'll just create a class of my app. And that will extend our Polymer element. Okay. Right, so we'll give it a very a basic visual appearance. So they get template. And in here we just return our HTML. And so let's have just a header decorator demo. Like that, so we need to remember to bring HTML in, um, and then let's define our element. Like so. Um, so that should be enough to um, create our basic component. Like so. Now, as I say, um, we need to transpile to be able to add these on. So let's do that with um, TypeScript and Webpack. Uh, so I'll start off by just creating a Webpack. This is going to be um, our entry, is going to be our main.ts. So, and we'll output this to a file name uh, bundle.js, and we're going to put that into the dist folder. So let's have a path, uh, which is in the current folder, plus dist, and we'll do the same for public path because we're going to use the Webpack dev server, and we'll just say it can find that in dist. Now the um, TypeScript part, we just want to have a test in here for TS files and we'll use in this case the TS loader so that will do our transpile for us. If I just bring in path as well Okay, that should be good for Webpack. Now for TypeScript, let's just make this a bit smaller. Uh, we need a TS config. So if we run um, init on TSC, that should give us our TS config here. And we need to make a couple of changes. Um, because we're using Web Components, we don't want to compile it to ES5. Um, we just want ES 2015, otherwise it will not work. Um, we want to ensure our resolution is node, so it will look in node modules for our packages. And we need, because this is the main part of the demo, we need experiment decorators on. Just needs um, a comma there, I think. And that should be good. I'll just go into the package.json to show you what I've included um, previously. So we've got TypeScript and TS Loader uh, transpiling. We've got normal Polymer, and then we've got a Polymer decorators as well. Um, so those are the packages we need to have installed for this. Right, let's go back to here and see if we can run Webpack. Okay, that seems good. Uh, just put 
development mode in. Like so. And we can run that again. Um, and then, if I start up Webpack Dev Server, and open a browser here, we'll just try and bring it all over a bit. Like so, get rid of that. Now we should be able to see our component on 8080, is it? Oh, I haven't actually created a file yet. Let's, let's create an index.html. And in here, we shall put our um, dist bundle.js and our app, which we obviously didn't have a second ago. Let's do that and refresh. Okay, so all it's doing is putting up decorator demo. Just have the console here as well. Um, and we can minimize this a bit. Right, so we don't need TS config, we don't need that. Uh, we don't need to look in Webpack anymore. And we're not going to look at index anymore. So we'll just have our main.ts here. So we make it a bit bigger again. Um, okay, so that's up and working. Now, let's um, actually, I'll do one more thing because a normal, a standard sort of pattern in here is to have a static get is method um, that simply returns the name of your component, my app. And then rather than defining that statically there, we would say my app my app dot is uh, so let's save that off and we can see that's still working and our component is um, um, as defined here okay let's put the first decorator in the first thing we need to do is import the decorator so let's do um, custom elements custom sorry custom element and it's from at polymer decorators. Now this means I can say at um, custom element and provide the name here just like that. Now what that should be allowing me to do now is get rid of my my static is because it will add one of these in for us automatically and get rid of this custom element to find because it will add that in with my app dot is as well so that exactly those two lines will get added uh, if I do a save here now we can see um, it's still working correctly just do a double check yeah all good there I don't know why it's complaining about my app Oh yeah, just because it's not used. Well, it is used because of this. That's um, a TypeScript error. That hopefully, will get fixed. Um, just a syntax error. Right. Let's now look at another one. So, let's say let's say we want we had a property on here. So we had a static get properties, um, and we had say. A checked property um, which was a boolean and it had a value of false and then let's display that in our element so a little smaller again um, so we'll have another h2 and in here we'll have um, i checked and then we can just put checked in there. So I save that off. And my checked is false. And we, we just change that over to true. We can see that is updating with our value. Um, so that is how we would normally create in Polymer 3 um, our properties. But what we can do with decorators now is have an at property and then literally specify the property beneath it. That means we can get rid of this method completely. 
And if I give that a save, we can see am I checked is false. I'm just going to fix my typo. Um, and if we set it to true, you can see it's coming in as true here now. So that is picking up the property. Um, so that's another nice one. So we've got at custom element and at property. Uh, now there's one more that I'd like to show you on this, which is the listen event. So say we had a button on here. Um, say button, my button, and click me. So we can see our button down there. Um, and if we wanted to add a um, event handle to that, rather than coming in here and saying on click and putting the method in there and hooking it up that way, we can actually say um, at listen. And we can say, what do we want to listen for? We want to listen for a click event and we want to listen for it on my button. Uh, and then we just add our method uh, um, handle event straight from the event. And for this one, we'll just console log out that we have clicked it. Um, there's one extra step for this. We need to import an additional um, class, declarative event listeners we need. Um, and it's actually done that for me up the top there now. That was cool. Um, so this one comes in um, from decorators lib declarative event listeners up there. Um, and what this is, is a mixin. So we need to apply it to our class here. And that now should all be hooked up. And if I click on there, that is good. Um, so there you go, uh, decorators in a Polymer 3. I hope that was uh, interesting. If you like these videos, feel free to click on that subscribe button below. Um, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.